Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. From today, on every third Friday of the month, I will upload a quick After Effects tips video. Where? I will answer, your After Effects related questions. So today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Wondershare, PDF Element. It is an all-in-one PDF solution program, helping users to read, edit, and convert PDFs. You can try pre-made tons of templates, to speed up your workflow, simply choose anyone, and start editing. Instead of making simple PDF, now showcase your creativity, by adding graphics, and your own style. With PDF Element, the user receives full control over his PDF files, and gets to adjust anything from fonts to styles, without affecting the original formatting of the document. So visit the link in the description, and try the PDF elements today. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Brush Stroke Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. Now first step is to create a new solid. Let's call it the background. And I am keeping a dark white color of it. I am not sure if that kind of color is available in this world. Now, import this brush layer into your project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place this image on above of the background layer. And let's animate it. But first, make sure to unselect any selected layer. And then, go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color, and for that solid, I am using the black color. Also, my stroke is set to none. Now start creating a rectangle, around this brush stroke. And make sure, to cover the entire stroke. Cool, let's rename this layer as the mask. And then, go to the effects and presets. Here search for the turbulent displace. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the displacement to, horizontal displacement and then increase the amount value by 1000. As well as, change the size value to 5. Cool, now your rectangle layer should look like this. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then, press P, to open position. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to around 1 second forward, and change the Y position value to a higher number, so that you can see the complete brush stroke layer. Now select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. In case your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Switch back to the timeline, and now your animation should look like this. Cool. It's time to mask out our brush stroke, with this shape. In case your track mat tab isn't visible here, then press F4, to switch between. If your F4 key is preparing cake for my birthday, then right click here, go to columns, and choose modes. Now change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Cool, this looks good to me. Now select these layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it brush stroke, and then hit OK. Press S, to open scale. And then adjust the scale value if you need. Now make another duplicate of this layer, and press the arrow down key to place the layer below the first stroke layer. Now right click on it, go to the transform, and select flip horizontal. 
cool. We just rotated the animation for the second stroke layer. Let's select both layers, and align them into the center. Also, place the starting position of this top layer to the 7 frames forward, so that it will start appearing after the first stroke. Cool, this looks good to me. Now select both layers, and pre-compose them. This time, I am calling them brush stroke animation. Again go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click onto the center, and start typing your text. Grab the move tool, and align your text into the center of the brush stroke. I am using the font size of 70 points. Adjust the text spacing according to your need. And let's mask out the text as well. So that, it will start appearing after the brush stroke only. Select the brush stroke and make a duplicate of it. Place it above the text layer, and call it brush stroke mask. Now change its track mat to the alpha mat. Cool. So our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Now you can download pre-made After Effects templates, sound effects, stock footage, and many more digital assets. Visit the Envato Elements, check the link in the description.